tak jo. Tak. Můžeme asi. Co? Hm? Next talk is about to begin. I hope everybody is enjoying themselves. Just a brief reminder, there will be a final competition grand finale at 4.30 in the main auditorium. There are, we have some posters up for grabs if anybody is interested. With this, let me pass the floor to Martin Stransky with his talk on uh, the state of Firefox and recent project development. Please help me welcome Martin. Hello, uh, I'm glad to be here. I'm Martin Stransky and I maintain Firefox on Fedora and RHEL, so if you have any question about Firefox on Fedora, so you can ask me. Also, if you have any question uh, during my talk, you can just raise your hand and ask me. So, let's start. Mm. Uh, first, I will, I will talk about uh, Firefox in Fedora and then uh, talk generally about Firefox at Mozilla, what's new and what's going on, and so, so let's start. Mm. Well, Firefox on Fedora, uh, the recent, recent work we do is the GTK3 port, as you may know. Uh, so, we already have Firefox on GTK3 in Fedora, but upstream is still still fixing some problems, so upstream is going to switch to GTK3 at uh, 40, 46 version, hopefully, and uh, because there is really wild development of the GTK3, there are many changes, uh, many new features, and it's still, still not, not completely uh, clear. Uh, also, the next, next big thing is Wayland, which is the new display server. Uh, for the start, I have some, some demo of uh, GTK3, Wayland, and uh, Firefox. Uh, the Wayland is actually a new display server. The Firefox looks, looks just the same on the Wayland like on uh, X server, so I have some, something else, and this is uh, mm, the Broadway, because GTK3 could have more than just one backend. You can display the GTK3 application to, uh, for instance, web page. So, which I'm go going to show you, I hope so. So, I just started the Firefox. You see nothing because it, the output goes to the web page. I hope it's going to run. Yeah, so, so you, you could see, yeah, so we have this is one, this, this one big Firefox, and this is Firefox inside it. It's just application. <laughs> well, you can see this is uh, just for comparison. This is just gedit. Well, well, you see the GTK3 is, is pretty powerful. So, well, I like. Well, yes. So, so this is generally our work of uh, we do in Fedora, and it's kind of future of the Firefox. I hope so. Well, you know, this is just the plain web page. Well, so, so this was Fedora, and I'm going to talk about uh, general Mozilla. So, so. As you may um, notice that, the, that uh, this is not, Firefox is not going so well as uh, Mozilla would like. So Firefox losing market share. Uh, the Firefox OS is not so great as it was expected. And uh, Firefox for Android is not also as successful as uh, Mozilla would like. So. Uh, what uh, to do with, with those things? What improve? Uh, there is a uh, new, new initiative uh, from Mozilla, and its name is Great or Dead. And it means that 
every feature, every part of the Firefox should be really, really wonderful or it will be removed. So just uh, some kind of back to the roots, just to have some, some really good parts and everything else should go away. Uh, what is great? Uh, I hope great is going to be the multi-process Firefox, which is the electrolysis project. Add-ons, user really likes add-ons. Uh, tools for developers, uh, privacy, browsing, and uh, profiles. Uh, there is also the dead things which are going to be or may be removed. Uh, this, this, what is dead? It's this is really a discussion. Mm, there is nothing definitive. M Mozilla doesn't say this is dead and let's remove it. It's more about discussion they are talking about and uh, try to find what user really like and what is uh, problematic. Uh, the panorama tab groups, uh, this is feature which is uh, really expensive for development. It has bugs and it's not very successful. And uh, another thing is this uh, fu full, uh, full teams. It means uh, Firefox is going to remove or change how how the Firefox is uh, the user the user interface how is it uh, managed. So there is going to be some some change there. Also, those things Pocket and Hello, uh, those two things are going to uh, just uh, to add-ons, not not uh, the main part of Firefox. Also, the XPCOM, Zool, and binary add-ons, those, uh, those are going to be removed. Uh, uh, great for developers, and the developer tools, and uh, Firefox Firebug next. The next Firebug, Firebug is going to be based on the developer tools, developer API from Firefox. So, um, you know, Firefox has its own API for or interface for the developers, tools, web developers. Uh, for instance, here. Oh, no. I need something else. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah, the banger. Yeah, it's it looks similar like Firebug. You can inspect elements on the website, and so 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 Firebug Firebug is going to extend this basic tool and uh, and just improve it and uh, work on top of it. Uh, well, great for users. Mm. The new feature, activity stream, this is uh, like active history. Uh, you can see mm, visited pages, play movies from the history and so. This is just new feature which is coming. Uh, the multi-process Firefox, private, private browsing. Um, the private browsing should, uh, should block the tracking, tracking elements which is used for add-ons even in the normal normal mode, not only in the private mode. And uh, Firefox account, this is a new, new, uh, new way how to manage profiles. Uh, I think the plan is to uh, just, just have the information online. It's, uh, I think it's quite similar to Fleet Commander. But, uh, it's not the same, but ju just similar to Fleet Commander from Fedora, just to have online, online, uh, online profile and uh, save it, store it, and so. Well, this is the yeah uh, the multi-process Firefox. This is, I think, the main main thing in the future. As you can see, uh, there are two two processes, one one process. This is the Chrome process. Uh, the main process is rendering the 
user interface and the other uh, page. And there is the child process content, which uh, compose the web page and draw the web page to share shared memory. Uh, Add-ons are going to run in the main process and there is inter-process communication between the mine and the child process. Uh, you know Chrome already do, does, do, does that and uh, mm, there, is, there is slight difference between Firefox and Chrome because Chrome has, uh, for each tab, it has uh, one process. But Firefox has uh, one, one process for all the tabs. It, it uh, should save memory and uh, should be quite more efficient. I have also a demo of that. So there is a nightly build of the Firefox. I have uh, three pages here. It's already multi-process. So I will open here <coughs> the process manager and uh, there is process name web content and it actually uh, compose the page. So I will kill it and wow. So the content is gone but the Firefox itself is still running. So you can reload it. Well, as you, as my as you may think, uh, this is really a big, uh, big, uh, mm, mm, how to say, big change inside Firefox. So everything has to be uh, quite, uh, quite updated. So this is also the main reason why, why there is so big change in the add-ons because uh, the add-ons has to be already updated for the electrolysis project. So Mozilla also does other changes in the add-ons. Uh, like uh, um, there is in uh, Mozilla introduced the add-on signing. You know, every, every add-ons which official Firefox installs should be uh, signed by Mozilla. Yeah, so uh, no, there is a, there is a controversy that Fedora doesn't like it. Uh, Mozilla mm, wants it wants it for the official Firefox, and main reason for that is uh, Windows because on Windows user mm, <laughs> user uh, are affected by by uh, man, many many. Uh, m malware and mm, some some add-ons which they don't like, and also <coughs> also there are new interface web and web extensions which should be compatible with Blink and Chrome, I think. And uh, Mozilla is also removing the Zool, XPCOM binary binary extensions because uh, it's really difficult to maintain everything for the new releases. If you have new releases, you have to maintain the old, uh, old thing and it's, it's difficult, it's, ex it's expensive. So this is the reason why those things are going to be removed. Well, uh, I think this is pretty much everything. So if you have any question. Mm -hmm. Uh, moment, I will give you the mic. <laughs> okay, so what are the plans for GSS API authentication, like improving that? Because there's been some great stuff from the free IPA team and the IDM team at this conference, and they kind of want better support in Firefox. GSS, do you mean Kerberos? Uh, basically, yeah, integration with Kerberos Auth, because we got uh -huh. some really cool free IPA stuff for web apps, and it kind of sucks in Firefox. Uh -huh, uh -huh. 
uh, well, well, the Kerberos thing, uh, uh, I actually I don't know, but if uh, Red Hat wants it, we have to just write it and get some review upstream. So, so Jenny, I, thi I think Mozilla is not against it, but uh, we need to just implement it. So, uh, but but uh, there is a problem that uh, it doesn't run well in the main process. So it it has to be in in extra thread, and this is uh, I guess a bit complicated. But uh, well, I think there is no no strong uh, movement against it. So there. Are no, no. I think they Mozilla just uh, doesn't care about it. Right. So. Yeah. 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 We need to do it. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So, so next section. Hello, I would like to ask about HTML uh, video hardware acceleration, whether there is any kind of support or uh, attention to improve it, because many sites uh, switch from Flash to uh, HTML5 video, but I noticed that it increased a lot of CPU consumption. So, whether there are any... Well, well I'm asking yes. about the, uh, you know, the codec from Cisco or just just some general codecs yeah, or yeah. you what mean the you Linux or yeah what would be basically the best way how to make sure that when I'm playing videos through Firefox mm -hmm. uh, there is not so much high CPU usage as it is today with the current standard well it really depends which platform do target with it because uh, mainly Linux yeah Linux mm. <laughs> <laughs> well <laughs> Well, on the Linux, uh, uh, I think the, the, the best way is to use the Adobe plugin, but it's disabled. So, uh, you know, the, the Google, Google plugin, the Google format, the VP, is, uh, um, is not very efficient, <laughs> and the uh, hardware codecs are, are not allowed. So, you don't have a good choice here. Uh, but but sorry, but I'm not really expert in the video uh, video playback, so I don't have really good uh, good question for you. That's a good answer. Yeah. Hi, uh, do you have some internal information about uh, Project Servo, and uh, do you think that uh, it will that Firefox will be the internals will be replaced with Project Servo, or it will be the different project mm -hmm. for the whole time? Yeah, unfortunately, Michal Stanke, who is expert on the servo, he he didn't make it here. So, uh, but the project servo is n not going to replace the whole Firefox, but it's going to replace only some part of the Firefox, only small small parts. I think the first first replacement is going to happen soon. Uh, so some subset of the page composing is going to move to the servo. But it's uh, really only only smart parts of the Firefox are going to move to the server. So it's going to be in the final. It's going to be some some composition of the old Firefox and old code and the new Rust Rust powered server. Yeah. Actually, I, I tried to um, um, prepare some some servo some some servo browser, but it's crashing on my Linux. So. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm sorry, but uh, I don't have demo of the server for you. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> hi. So first thing first, uh, why did you kill Firefox OS? Because I loved it. Uh, but it's not a real question. Uh, the real question is, uh, I saw from the demo that you made mm -hmm. before uh, that if you one uh, tab crashes, it mm -hmm. brings all of the, crash, uh, the tabs down, right? Mm -hmm. So is that supposed to be improved? later and split into different processes or the plan is to always have all the tabs being handled by a single process? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's a good question and Mozilla is, uh, there is no technical reason to have only one, one process for mm -hmm. all tabs. Actually, it's uh, Mozilla wants it because uh, it's simple to have just one page and one process. 
but Mozilla le, uh, wants to have more memory efficient way to have uh, one process for more tabs. So uh, if uh, there is a reason to have uh, uh, some tabs in one process and some tabs in other process, then Mozilla could do that easily. So I think it's, it's possible to have it. <laughs> well, I, it's not, it, I, I cannot do that. <laughs> you mentioned that uh, Panorama tabs uh, are so going sorry, to be I didn't uh, hear you. you mentioned that Panorama tabs are mm -hmm. going to be killed mm -hmm. because of some issues. Mm -hmm. I never had an issue with it, and it's one of the reasons why I'm preferring Firefox. Uh, yeah, the Panorama tabs is, uh, uh, from, from information I have, is going to move to, sub to, I don't know. It's not going to be main part of Firefox, but it's going to move to uh, just add-on and maintain uh, aside the browser. Okay. I'm just curious, do you know about any known bugs with this uh, feature? Uh, no, 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 I, I, I don't know. Is there any plan to improve the integration uh, between uh, Firefox and Plasma 5? Uh, you know, you know, KDE, KDE. Uh, well, uh, I know there is no maintainer of that code. So, you know, generally Mozilla doesn't care about Linux desktop. They don't have money to invest it to, the, to it, and they don't have users. Uh, Linux is just 1% of all users. So, um, there is no resource. So, if, you, if anyone needs that, uh, so he or she needs to write the support for it. Okay. Yeah. Um, if I remember well, you said that uh, Firefox for Android isn't doing very well uh, in, in terms of usage. Do you have any numbers for that? Oh, sorry, I didn't uh, Do you have any usage numbers for Firefox on Android? Uh, no, no, I don't have uh, numbers. Uh, the problem on the under, Android is that uh, you know the Firefox is growing on the Android, but uh, not as fast as the whole market. So it's behind the market, and this is the problem. Yeah, because it's not growing faster than other browsers there. Yeah, it's, it's not it's not a general general failure, but it's uh, behind the expectation on the Android. Okay. Oh, well, I was just going to ask, you know, also for the <coughs> Sorry? I was just going to ask also about uh, GNOME integration because uh, Plaza was mentioned before. And now with the fact that uh, the themes are getting killed off, that means we can't even have a look that even resembles like a desktop. So it's going to look alien compared to everything now. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, the desktop, you know, the, there is a problem that, uh, you know, the GNOME, uh, GNOME team, the plugin, uh, uh, well, it's, uh, well, well, yes, I think the GNOME team wa wants this plugin to be default in the Firefox, right? Uh, well, but it's uh, difficult from the maintenance site to update it for each release of the Firefox. Yeah, I know, I, I made the theme, so. Yeah, so, so well, it's if, really yeah, if there is uh, some security update, we need to release the Firefox as fast as possible. And uh, I yeah. understand, I was just talking about the desktop integration of the browser. It mm -hmm. will look and feel alien completely now that there's not even a possibility of like someone adding it, you know, themselves later on. So I guess there's really, mm -hmm. oh, it was just a follow-up point, that's all. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. Just because we talked about video acceleration, I was wondering, uh, I know there was a patch set using GStreamer. Are we using GStreamer uh, to do video decoding on Linux? Well, um, unfortunately, GStreamer is uh, going to be removed or is also removed uh, and FFmpeg is going to instead of it. 
Okay, yeah, I think I heard about this, but yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Thanks. Yeah, because there are lots of mm, lots of bugs mm, reported about the GSTR mode. There are lots of crashes, a full full bugzilla of reports. So, and we don't have resources to maintain the GStreamer on the Firefox. Okay, good luck with FFMP. Uh, Good luck with other framework. <laughs> Regarding the Firefox on Android, uh, I have a question whether uh, anybody is going to improve the memory uh, consumption on Android because this is a uh, big minus in mm -hmm. comparison to Chrome. Yeah. Well, I think it's really, really problem there, and. Uh, Mozilla, Mozilla is tried, but uh, I don't have any news about it, so 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 I just don't know about the Android. So I, I know Mike Hamney from the Beyond, he works on that, uh, and uh, but I don't have any any numbers, but any further info about it. Yeah. Huh? Well, if uh, those are all, all questions, so thank you and uh, enjoy the conference.
Halo, halo. Yeah.